Hello, fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. On the last episode, we began Case 5, Rise from the Ashes, and saw someone commit a murder. I mean, we saw it in the cutscene, but uh, Phoenix hasn't taken any cases in the past two months until this person showed up, Emma Sky. And because of similarities to Maya and Mia, he decided to take it, and we are about to go find out who our victim, or not our victim, our suspect slash defendant is going to be. So... Let us head over to the detention center and find out. Oh, I hate, I hate these voices. I don't, I, I don't like, I'm not, I'm going to do terrible with this voice. This is going to sound so much like Phoenix. Hmm. I wonder what's wrong with Emma. She got quiet all of a sudden as soon as we arrived. Guard, I thought I told you I didn't want visitors. Sorry, ma'am. It's just your sister. No excuses. Or did you not want to raise this year? Hmm. Uh, understood, ma'am. What was that all about? Uh, hi, Lena. Funny. I seem to remember specifically telling you not to come here. Perhaps my memory is failing? Look! I didn't want to come here either, okay? But your trial's tomorrow and you still don't have a defense attorney! I'll be the one in court tomorrow. This has nothing to do with you, Emma. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? Uh, hey! How do you know me? Mia mentioned you. I heard quite a bit. Er, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. What exactly is it that you do? My name is Lana. Lana Sky. I'm chief prosecutor for this district. You're a prosecutor? Two sisters, one a lawyer. Could this be a coincidence? Emma? Lana? I mean, they're just like... Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? <laughs> yeah, so like I said, the similarities are kind of getting creepy now. Also, Lana's voice, I'm supposed to... I'm trying to do Mia's voice, but I barely did it. So I don't really remember what to do. It's like a... It's like a lighter tone of my voice that I'm trying to do. So the case, the victim, and Lana. Let's find out about the case. There's something you should know from the start. Which is? The suspect in this case has confessed to the crime. Huh? Wait, but the suspect, the suspect is... Me. I did it. Well, Mr. Wright? Well, why don't you begin by telling me exactly what happened? The crime took place yesterday, February 21st, at 5.15 p.m. That's quite specific. It was in the witness's disposition. Oh, God. <laughs> A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. Uh, my, that was a bit of bad luck, wasn't it? The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. The prosecutor's office, huh? In your subordinate's car truck? Classy. I was arrested on the spot, caught red-handed, as it were. My, my. So, yeah. There are very little holes that we've seen so far. How about the victim? Who is that? So, who was the victim? An investigator with the police department. I suppose the correct term is detective. A detective? Death was due to a loss of blood. He was stabbed once in the stomach. By you? Death wasn't immediate, but the wound was fatal. I see. Allow me to repeat myself, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective. You know what that means, don't you? Uh-oh. What? What, Mr. Wright? What does it mean? I added another what in there. I don't know why. 
Well, it means... The police department will consider it a matter of pride to have me found guilty. They will use any means at their disposal to do so. This case gets worse and worse with everything I learn. <laughs> so, she killed a detective in the prosecutor's office, and she was caught red-handed. Uh, where's the silver lining? So, you're the chief prosecutor? That is correct. I'm responsible for overseeing every trial handed by prosecutors in this district. I make sure the prosecutors have what they need to do with the job and manage every aspect. Those are my responsibilities in a nutshell. That's an awfully large nutshell. Hey, what's Phoenix's job? Just get people declared innocent and walk around? Still, I'm a little surprised. I would think you'd recognize the district's chief prosecutor, Mr. Wright. Well, there's something about this. I mean, when we talked to the... If you remember all the way back when we did case two, when Red White called the chief prosecutor, it was a man then. I mean, he clearly said, sir, I think, something like that. So, you're... So, this... It's kind of retconned this. I mean, this kind of retconned that. She was supposed to be chief prosecutor then as well. But, obviously, it was a male back then. At least we did a male voice. So. <laughs> uh-huh. In fact, it seems impossible you wouldn't. Um, Lana? What happened to your hand? Oh, this? I cut myself by accident. When I stabbed him, that is. Huh? I'm not very good at being a criminal, I suppose. How am I supposed to defend this? Time to change the subject. Wait, she was in the class ahead of Mia, wasn't she? So they're changing the subject to Mia. I wonder how she's going to react when she finds out. How does she not know Mia's dead if she's a chief prosecutor? Certainly, I mean, if I should know who she is, she should know that Mia's gone. And there was a giant case about it. And that Edgeworth, who had a perfect record, lost against me during that case. Um, you were in school with Mia, correct? A few years above her? Emma told you that too, did she? Well, why not? I did drag him all the way here from his office. Although it seems he has very little in common with Mia. Hey! It was in law school. I was in my third year and she was aud audited in class. She was different than the other students. Different? She was strong. She'd do anything to become a defense attorney. Anything. That was probably why she was attracted to me. Uh, excuse me? Intellectually attracted. Lana was top of her class in school. Thank you, Emma, for not making that weirder. I was the best there was. Oh. I'm doing pretty good in school, too, by the way. It sounds a bit different when Emma says it. <laughs> well, Mr. Wright? I excuse me? As you can plainly see, I'm admitting my guilt. I think it's safe to say there's no way you can take this case. None. this way, weren't you? You'd never think of anyone but yourself. I know you didn't do it, Lana. I know. So, so how can you say you did? If I lose you, I'll be all alone. Mr. Wright? Uh, yes? I believe our discussion here has ended. The rest, I leave to you. Um, you mean you're requesting my services as, as your defense? Don't lose any sleep over it. Your client has confessed, after all. The case is over. Right. I'll do what I can to get to the bottom of this.
Lana has confessed to the crime, yes. But something doesn't fit. It's that look in Emma's eyes. There's something else going on here. And I'm going to find out what... Oh, God, that stopped! <laughs> that stopped the word before I thought it would! I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. Uh-huh, about what? My sister, she's not always like that, you know. I just never expected to be defending another prosecutor again. She's changed a lot. She used to be so gentle, always smiling. Everybody liked her. I see. Sorry, but I'm having trouble imagining that. What happened to her? I don't know for certain myself. I think maybe she... Well, maybe not. Sounds like there's something there that defies a simple scientific explanation. Let's go check out this underground parking at the prosecutor's office, shall we? Uh, okay! Okay, so... We learned a little bit about the defendant, the prosecutor. Yeah, this is the second prosecutor in a row that we're defending. Technically, case f technically case four had two trials in it, and we won both of those. So Phoenix's record right now, I mean, because Emma did mention last episode that we were the undefeated prosecutor. We're what four, five and zero oh right now, because we 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 uh, saved Larry, saved. Uh, technically, it was us because they they transferred it from Mia to us, saved Will Powers, and then saved Edwards twice. So yeah, we're five and zero oh right now. <laughs> if we want to go to six and zero, oh, we better find out something that happened. Otherwise, it's gonna be a nice five and one. This will ruin it. Very simple. So, I think we're going to call an episode here. Pretty nice stop. We're going to head over to the parking lot in the next episode. And, you know, actually do the investigating for once. So, until next time. Hopefully you enjoy. I also want to baby Luigi. Yeah, there we go. He only contributed two, two fireballs in the last one. All right, now Luigi hasn't done anything. Oh, he did a little bit now. All for equality here. about 50 more damage so not, not not that much but maybe we can cut down on one also this is gonna take like another three of these mixed flowers oh I screwed that one up